guys welcome back again to my channel my name is abiola and in today's video we'll be making this lovely basic skirt with ruffles it's a pencil skirt and it's a short skirt so um without wasting so much time let's go straight into the video of today the first thing we're going to do is to mark 0.5 inch at the starting line and that's going to serve as the allowance we're going to use to turn the skirt this skirt is a bandless skirt so just to turn it with the bias next is to mark my hip point which is 10 then the skirt length plus allowance which is 19 inches i'll go ahead and mark the same thing again 10 inches and 19 inches and i'll connect them and label them this one will be labeled hp as a hip point and this one will be labeled sl as a skirt length the waist i'm working with is 29 29 divided by 4 is 7.25 okay that's what i marked i marked 7.25 and i'm going to go ahead and add one inch for that and one inch seam allowance so my hip is 41 41 divided by 4 is 10.25 so i marked 10.25 I also added one inch seam allowance on the skirt length. I divided my hip circumference by four without any allowance. 41 divided by four is 10.25. That's what I marked. And I connected that to the line on the hip um, area. Then I connected the hip to the waist area. And I decided that I don't want that sharp pointed edge there. So I used my ruler to correct that. So the next thing is to mark my dart. I'm working with a nipple to nipple measurement of seven. Seven divided by two is three. And I took half inch on both sides because we're taking a one inch dart. The length of this dart is five inches and I connected the dart. Okay. Next step is to create the area for our ruffles. On the waistline, I'm going to come down by 1.5 inches. Okay. And on the skirt length area, I'm going to go in by 1.5 inches. And on the hip point area, I'll go in by 7.5. Then I'll connect all the points just like this. I'll go ahead now and cut this out. Now it's time to draft our back. First things first is to mark the zipper allowance and i'll be marking 1.5 inches from beginning to the end that's going to serve as a zipper allowance and we're going to work on it okay so um after connecting the point i'll go ahead and place the front piece on top of this back piece like this and after doing that on the waistline because our zip is not going to be fully 1.5 inches it's going to be one inch but you're going to see how we're going to create our butt curve okay so i extended all the lines the waistline the hip line and after doing that on the waistline i'm going to mark one inch which is our exact zipper allowance okay so after marking one inch on the hip line i will mark instead of one inch i will add 0.5 for our bum curve which implies that i marked 1.5 then five inches below the hip point i'm going to mark that and rule that out and i'm going to mark one inch at that point on the waistline in order to get more fit at that point i am going to go in by 0.5 inches I'll go in by 0.5 inches and after taking that 0.5 inches i'm also going to add 0.5 inch to the waistline so that we don't get short of fabric since we are still going to be taking one inch as our zipper allowance okay so i'll go ahead to connect that 0.5 inch to the 1.5 inch on the hip and i'll add 0.5 inch like i said and i'll connect that to the hip point I'm going to auto mark one inch at the skirt length area and I'll connect everything, connect the points just like you see me doing. So what I just did is the same thing we do when we want to get rid of zipper bulge at the back because our back is not straight. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I will go ahead to cut everything out right now and yeah, I would also trace out that curve that we made for the ruffle area. After cutting everything out, I'll go ahead to label all the pieces of paper and also transfer my dart. This is front pattern one and two. Then I also placed the front piece on the back piece and I transferred the dart. The marker will appear at the back, so I just used that um to transfer the dart and i connected the point if you've watched any of my skirt tutorial before now you will know there is one more adjustment we need to do which is to come down by 0.5 inch at the front part and connect to the side seam this is just going to eliminate um excess 
at that point and also you know make it more fitted then i'll label the back piece back pattern three and back pattern four okay so we are basically done now let's cut them out on fabric for the center front area we are going to be cutting it on fold then for the side front area we're cutting two pieces of that side front okay so as you can see i placed the front pattern towards the edge of the fabric because we're cutting it on fold now i'm going to add 0 0.5 inch seam allowance round this part Around the curved part and i'll connect the lines okay then for the other side i would also do the same i would also place it this way and you know cut like i said the front pattern is cut on fold i mean the front pattern one is cut on fold while front pattern two is you just cut two pieces of it is not on fold now it's time to cut our ruffles i am going to be cutting out eight pieces of the same fabric i'm about to cut now i've marked six inches first after marking six inches on the ankara you know ankara comes by 45 in length so i would mark six inches and i'll use my scissors to slash through it a little bit after which this is how i cut my um ankara or sometimes because it's easy to slash through it so i'm just gonna open it up there are just a few fabrics that you can do like some fabrics if you try this everything will just rip apart okay so i cut this is how i cut it and you know a, a full ankara fabric is in 45 inch in length you know so um i cut out eight pieces of that two for each side okay so here's what we're going to do after cutting out each Ankara piece. I'm going to join two pieces each for each side of the ruffle area. So now I'm going to put them right sides facing each other and I will sew using 0.5 inch seam allowance. And here is what I have. I will cut off the excess allowance, okay? Then I'll go ahead and hem the base. After hemming the base, then I would gather it, okay? so i will join it two to two that means i will now have four when i'm done so here is what i have i've gone ahead to hem the base and now the next step is to gather it okay so um when i'm done i'll use my needle and try to gather if you've watched any of my rough holes video you will just know i prefer to use my needle and thread to gather i also hem the sides as well do not forget to hem the sides and hem the base okay so now here is um, my method of gathering i'm just gonna go with my needle and thread and i'm going to gather and yeah it takes a while but um, it's just something i prefer you can go to your sewing machine and you know run a basic stitch through it and use that to gather or any method you want to be honest so here is the gathers that i have made i made four of them if you remember let me just rephrase i joined two pieces of each 45 inch in length fabric then i hemmed the sides and the base before i gathered them so, so now i'll go ahead to transfer all my dots from the paper to the fabric so um for the back i used my pins to transfer the dot onto the fabric um when i was done i just went ahead to draw them the proper way then for the front instead of transferring the dots it's easier to you know mark the dots on the front than at the back on the front i just went ahead to fold the fabric into two and i marked 3.5 and like i did on the paper the same thing i did as what i did here and like i said the length of the dot is five inches so i would go to my sewing machine and close the dot but before i do that i'm going to mark my zipper allowance which is one inch i'll mark one inch from beginning to the end which will serve as my zipper allowance and i was thinking of putting slits on this skirt that's why i marked that but i ended up not putting any slit because it was not needed so i later just marked the one inch from beginning to the end so um here is what i have when i came back from my sewing 
machine i have taken all the dots and now i'm going to attach my ruffle but before i do that i will go in by 1.5 inches we don't want this ruffle to be cut in our allowance area i also mark one inch upwards because we'll hem the base with one inch okay so we don't want the ruffle to be cut in any of this so we're going to leave spaces for the stitching allowance and the hemming allowance okay so first things first i'm going to place the first ruffle at that point like this i'm going to place it right sides facing the middle part like right sides facing the middle part like this uh -huh. so i'm going to gather everything and make sure that it's sandwiched within that point it shouldn't leave that point at all so i marked the 1.5 inch at the other side and one inch up at this side and i'll also place it right side facing the middle fabric like this okay so i'm going to pin it down a little just pin the beginning and the last part so that i know where the gathers is supposed to be sandwiched and here is what i have when i was done yeah here is what i have now it's time to attach the other parts of the skirt just attach it little by little using the same um allowance that's 0.5 inch seam allowance okay so i will go to my sewing machine now and attach that and yeah here is what i have guys when i was done i've done the same thing for the back parts of the skirt as well and here is what i have here is what it looks like when i'm done with that i'm going to place the back and the front right sides facing each other and i'm going to stitch the sides with one inch seam allowance if you remember we added one inch allowance whilst drafting the skirt so it's at this point that i am going to you know mark out my one inch and stitch it on the sewing machine guys that's one of the reasons why when we were adding our ruffles we went in by 1.5 inches so as to ensure that when we want to attack you know join them using one inch seam allowance our ruffle will not get cut up okay so after marking my one inch at the point i'm going to stitch on the sewing machine i went ahead to stitch them and guys here is what i, I have. have stitched the sides with one inch now um what i'm going to do is to turn the waistline with my bias before i fix my zipper and before i hem the base i'm just going to turn this with my bias i'll stitch the bias first to the right side right sides facing each other like that then i'll then you just know how you turn your neckline with bias it's the same thing just do the same thing here um one more thing you can decide to use it bias to you know um design your skirt like instead of turning the bias inside you can turn the bias outward and it's going to look like a different design as well here is what the insides look like when i was done turning it with the bias guys here is what it looks like it just looks really really neat i'll go ahead now to attach my zipper first i'll check where my zipper is going to stop by placing the zipper at that point and i'll go ahead to fix my zipper and we've come to the end of this video if you enjoyed watching do well to subscribe like and you know comment i'll see you in my next video bye